Hey guys, how you doing? Steve Lav here. I just wanted to do a little follow-up video on the booster pump. Um, I had posted a video with a two-video kind of series. Uh, I installed the booster pump at, at my house. And I got a lot of questions in regard to the water pressure. Why is the water pressure so low? And I just wanted to do a quick little video and explain to you how they establish water pressure in my area, my town. And I believe it's like this in a lot of areas, but I'm not sure about, you know, uh, in the western part of the country. I know what, what it is up my way. What they do in a lot of towns and cities in my area is you'll see a big water tower somewhere at the high part of the town. We have a big water tower, which is a giant um, tank, basically a giant tank. And it's got a big pipe that comes right down the middle. What they do is they pump the water up into this holding tank. But you'll see it. You'll see them all over the place. They're big water towers. You know, you'll have one in each town type of thing. So what they do is they get a big pump. They'll pump the water up into this holding tank. And then depends on where you are in regards to, um, you know, the tank. The tank will be at the high part of the town. So, in other words... I'm really close to where the tank is, so the tank is here, I'm here, you know, just basically at the same elevation as the bottom of the tank, so my water pressure is going to be established from um, the weight of the water pushing down from the water tank, so at my in my area, I'm 35 pounds, because I'm close to the elevation of where the tank is in regards to the town, now, down on sea level, in the same town I'm in, the pressure is like 70 pounds because there's a lot more vertical water to push down to make the water pressure. That's how maybe that's a better way of explaining it. So it depends how much height you are from the top of that water. It's like half a pound every foot is what determines water pressure. Basically, half a pound a foot. So if you're, you know, if you're 100 feet lower than a water tower you're going to have 50 pounds pressure. So that's how that's how it determines the water pressure in my town, my area. I've had a lot of people say, "Oh, why didn't you just upgrade upgrade the service?" Well, upgrading the service wouldn't have did any any uh wouldn't have helped the situation any because of the water tower and how the water pressure works. I don't know if that's got, that explains a couple of things, but I've been getting a lot of comments about that is, you know, why is the pressure so low? Uh, why don't you just change your water service? A lot of questions like that. And I should have probably did a little better explanation of how how the water pressure in the town works. And I'm relatively close to the water tower. I'm basically the same elevation as the bottom of the water tower. So that's why the pressure is so low. And that's why I put the booster pump in. And like I said, other parts of the town that are down next to the salt, down next to the water at a lower elevation, it's a lot more pressure. You know, 70 pounds. So they don't need no booster. If anything, they, they need a, um, you know, uh, a pressure reducing valve on some of them lines. So I just figured I'd do this quick little video. I'm going to add it right to the back of this. Uh, I'll just post it so maybe I'll answer a lot of the questions. All right, guys. Um, Labor Day weekend. Hopefully you guys are enjoying yourself, spending time with the family. And uh, more videos to come. We'll keep trying to post videos and keep the, keep it going here. I always got something new going on. Not always pretty or elaborate, but I always got something new going on. All right, guys. Like I said, have a great um, have a great long weekend and stay out of trouble.